Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is fixing poor lighting. Now this little tip is just a little hidden gem that if you're already using it in Photoshop you know how powerful it is and that's shadow highlight. In Premiere Pro and in After Effects you can apply shadow highlight to video that's either been overblown or it's too dark in the shadows. Now the stuff that's overblown you're not going to resurrect clouds that are completely blown out. Skies are usually gone in a lot of DSLR footage. Um, you might be able to resurrect something um, when you're working with it but I'm Today I'm talking about how to fix things uh, when your shadows and darks are just, they're too much. Let's have a look. All right, here we've got some footage that's uh, shot less than spectacular, definitely a little bit too dark in the shadows. And your first thought might be to maybe grab levels or curves or something like that, but go to the effects and type in shadow and spell it correctly. And there is Shadow Highlight. I'm just going to, because my clip is selected, double click on it, and wow, bang. Let me just go up to the effects controls, which are behind the source monitor there, and turn that off and turn that on. And you can see what a difference. And I want you to look at the lights in here, the highlights, specifically way over here in the back of the fence that when I'm turning this on I'm not interfering with those highlights at all. I'm not blowing them up. I, by default this is fixing the shadows inside here and there's an auto amount button in here that's being turned on. And you can see it's 50% uh, shadow, 0% highlight and if I start turning this up I start bringing back some of the, the highlights also. I'm going to leave that at zero. This can, if you push this too far, this can have that HDR kind of effect for good or for bad, whatever you want. I, I don't care about that. I just want to fix this dark scene. Um, you'll also notice, I'll leave it back on auto, this temporal smoothing button right here. And I advise that you change that to something. I'm going to put it on uh, one second. Now, temporal smoothing or time smoothing allows us to have a smooth effect. In Photoshop, you're working on one image at a time, so we don't care about the effect of two different frames. If, if temporal smoothing is not turned on, this effect will only look at one frame, then disregard it, then look at the next frame, and you could get flashing or strobing or difference. Temporal smoothing, time smoothing, smooths it out. All right. There are also some more options down here if you want where you can experiment, same as, as Photoshop itself uh, with shadow highlight. You can change the overall width of the shadows. You can see again, this is giving me way more control. Again, more like an HDR kind of a control, especially when you pump that up. Look at that, wow. For good or for bad, I mean, there it is. Um, I probably wouldn't use that too much. Overall mid-tone contrast in here and uh, color correction. So as you're changing this, you might be either oversaturating or desaturating and you can compensate in there. Let's look at the next example. Holy smokes, very, very dark. Same thing, let's select it, double click, shadow highlight, boom, look at that. What a difference before and after. And again, I would put some temporal smoothing on here, hit play and it plays back, look at that. Beautiful, nice and bright. That is shadow highlight. I think it's a little hidden gem. It is not an accelerated effect. So if you, if you have a GPU um, and a very powerful one and you're used to accelerated effects, shadow highlight does chug along a little bit, but it's still worth it uh, and it's much better than having to go back and reshoot those scenes. Don't push it too far into the HDR kind of feel, if, unless that's what you want, um, but uh, it should prove to be a lifesaver to some of you. For anyone in law enforcement, I do a lot of work with forensics and shadow highlight can be used a lot in the world of forensics when you're trying to resurrect something from a dark area but not wreck any other part of the image. So it's used very successfully in forensics. 
Hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then click on the subscribe link to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free copy of Adobe Creative Cloud, your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.